This is lesson one of week one. My name is Mildred Fakoya. I will be your instructor for this course. Now in this lecture, we will be discussing the basic structure of an HTML5 document. Now HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a basic code that makes up the foundation for every web size. Now, in this lesson, we are going to look at what tags are, how to write HTML elements, what void elements are, and the parts of an HTML5 document. And so we are going to look at how to structure HTML files. First of all, we have to understand that HTML is an interpreted programming language and the code resides in files that are processed each time the web browser opens the web page. Now, every file on the computer has an extension. Now, if we have a Microsoft Word document, it has .toc or .docx, depending on the version, has its extension. It will have a PDF file, we have .pdf extension. Now, HTML has an extension. You either use .html or .htm. Either extension works fine. Now, depending on the type of text editor you use and your operating system, you will need to save every HTML document with the extension .html or .htm. If you do not include the extension using some text editor like Notepad, you are going to have a text file. And now the browser is not going to recognize the file as a web page. So every time you save your HTML document, make sure you have the extension .html or .htm. Now we are going to look at the structure or how tags are written. And now I'm going to open my text editor for this. I'll be using Text Wrangler because I'm using um, a Mac OS. Now HTML elements are represented by tags. We have the less than sign which opens the tag and the greater than sign which closes the tag. Now there are two types of tag. We have the start tag and the end tag. The start tag is written less than sign, the name of the element and then the greater than sign. We have the end tag. Now take note that not all elements have end tags. For elements that have end tags, you write your less than sign followed immediately by a forward slash the name of the element and then the greater than sign. Now it is not case sensitive so you can either write in uppercase or lowercase but always make sure you make it um, beautiful and readable so if you are using uppercase stick to uppercase if you are using lowercase stick to lowercase. Now elements without a closing tag are called void elements. Now when you write void elements you start your less than sign the name of the element and then a forward slash and a greater than sign. So you can self-enclose void elements like this and if you leave it without the forward slash it will still work fine. Now this is how tags are represented. Now take note there is a start tag written like this and there is an end tag written like this. It has a forward slash before the name of the element for the end tag. Now not all elements have an end tag. Now let's look at the structure of an HTML5 document. Now the first line of every HTML5 document is the doc type declaration. Now it is written in the less than sign, a bank sign and doc type and the greater than sign. Now bang doc type HTML. So it is written less than sign, the bank sign, doc type, HTML, and the greater than sign. Now this should be the first line on each web page. It indicates the standard that the page complies with. And doc type declaration indicates that the code is compliant with HTML5 and 
for other browsers that lack HTML5 parsers, the indication of doc type declaration triggers standard mode. Now, after the doc type declaration comes the HTML element. So you write HTML. Now the HTML element has an ending tag. And I'm going to close HTML. Now, it is between the start and end HTML tag that all other elements comes. Your doc type declaration comes on the first line and on the second line, you have your HTML start tag. The HTML element is closed on the last line of the page, which means that every other element will come between the start and the end HTML tag. Now, there are two parts to an HTML document. We have the head part written head and I'll close head. Always try to close as soon as you open so that you don't miss a tag because sometimes it affects the presentation of the web page and then tracing the errors will be a bit tedious. Now we have the head part and we have the body part written like this. So after the closing head tag comes the body tag. And so we're going to close body. So always make sure that you have your start and end tag. So the doc type declaration, the HTML element, the head and the body. All of the HTML head and body are not void elements. They have closing elements. So this is the basic structure of an HTML5 document. In the next lecture, we are going to look at the head part and what element comes in the head part. Thank you and see you in the next lesson. Thank you.